But let's stick with with uh, what we uh, learned about Michael Cohen this week, uh, the revelations of just how much he was paid. And um, what's interesting about this is that there is um, the there is, you know, the there is the 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 angle where he was paid by a Russian oligarch through uh, basically a surrogate, but also and maybe even uh, more um, uh, relevant is, is that he was paid by multiple corporations because he was selling supposedly access to um, uh, Donald Trump. Here is Donald Trump. What was this last night in I- Indiana? And um, look at how much the the disconnect between what has been aside from Iran, which I think is actually, uh, in many respects, a, a, a far more important story. But um, certainly the second most important story of the week, the disconnect between that existing and what the MAGA hat wearing uh, fans of Donald Trump in uh, Elkhart, Indiana, are aware of. As he says right. this, I mean, this there should be a laugh track, a like, you know, those VH1 thought bubbles over everybody's head. I mean, this this is just so divorced from reality. But here we go. I answered a bill that has become a law. This November, Indiana will face an important choice. You can send a really incredible swamp person back to the Senate like Joe Donnelly or you can send us Republicans like Mike Braun to drain the swamp. Under my administration, we're fighting against the lobbyists, the special interests, and the corrupt Washington politics. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, honestly, the... the it's, like, it's, like, it's like fighting against, because I, I know he's not like what you would call a vocabularyist. Um, <laughs> he's an incredible, well aware of the vo- not vocabularyist. I, I, vocabulary dashist. So... Being that he's not a man of many words and understanding of the phrases and the stuff, I, I can go with it. Maybe in his world, um, what 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 he means by because of there is he means uh, that um, yeah, the, we're, the, we're going after the swamp, we're going after which means we're inviting them in to make all of our policy decisions, decide everything. I mean, you know, the broader theme here is like this this and, and people don't kind of love talking about this. But this is what fascism actually is. I mean, you know, it, it is it, it is corporatism hiding behind populism, right? I mean, there's a reason why in Germany they got the word socialist in the name of their party, right? Um, there's a reason why, you know, in, in various uh, dictatorial movements, they always work in things like socialist or people, you know, people's republic or whatever. Because in the end, of course, that's all just a lot of garbage. Um, it, 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 you know, everything is about gaslighting people. Everything is about looking at you in the face and flat out lying. And so these guys aren't doing something that's so divorced as much as they're following a well-worn plan in the past for how dictators have risen to power, which is say that you're for the people while really being for the, uh, for the very people that you're pretending you're against, which are, are large out of control corporations who clearly felt comfortable enough putting, you know, hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars in this account. And this is only one of how many shell companies has this jackass set up and Trump in the past. And I mean, we uh, we know so little of what these guys have done. I think I mean, I can't even imagine how much more is out there in various other accounts, accounts, various other payments that have taken place. Uh, And they're not even denying it, Novartis and these guys, because they don't really know what to say. They're like, yeah, we paid for access. I mean, they try to make it sound better. Right. We want to know how he was thinking, you know, and that kind of thing. But. You know, this is, I mean, the Constitution only lists a couple of actual straight out ways you should be impeached. Bribery, public corruption is one of the ones listed in there. Well, I, I don't think it's more obvious. I mean, there's a couple of things that, 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 that I that are interesting about this because, uh, I mean, clearly 
if he can go and get these people to cheer, drain the swamp uh, on a week where the 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 one thing that is clear is that like he's as swampy as whatever he and and and, and more nakedly more so. More swampy, like I well, don't think we've had I, here, swampy there I, on this level. Well, before. I mean, haven't we though? I mean, of course we have, right? I mean, like no, we know. I mean, well, no. I've seen those pieces, Sam. We've had it there. I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but as overtly as this, in a way where we're, we're just saying it doesn't even matter anymore, and, and we'll actually admit to it, and you, we'll still then yell, drain the swamp, you'll still support us. Never as overt as this. I'm not saying that covert isn't nasty and bad for policy, but they're not even hiding it anymore. That's I mean, and I, 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 from, from what I can tell, we can find a, a similar you know, less ham-fisted, uh, more idiotic, but there's just, there happens to be more scrutiny on this administration, on this issue. And I think we have seen it in the past, we've seen it in the past with it, with the multitudes, right? I mean, uh, you know, uh, regardless of who it is and, and, you know, whether it's, you know, uh, Obama officials, uh, you know, just be, just you were at the DNC in uh, Philly, right? Like the whole uh, Uber thing that was going oh, on yeah. there. I mean, it was look, full. That stuff's of... gross, but I'm not saying that in terms of our campaign finance system and what you're allowed to get away with and what Democrats do too, what everybody does, because it's our system with some exceptions. I mean, there are some folks out there. Oh, Beto sure. O'Rourke, yes. I think, uh, yes. Yes. I think who are saying they're not taking corporate PAC money. And I respect the hell out of that because that puts you in a pretty tough position. Um, but, but yes, both systems. Are, but I'm talking about the stuff where even before any, you're right. He's gotten more scrutiny of like, so they looked into this LLC, but did we really need to know that? I mean, major corporations are going to his hotel in Washington and, and, and taking out all the rooms. And sure. gee, I wonder why. Sure. I mean, it, and nobody's done that before. I mean, in other words, they're not hiding it even behind campaign contributions. They go and they yes. join Mar-a-Lago where he upped the entry fee by, to what, 500000 or something ridiculous? I mean, you know, that's what's going on. But I guess it, it, right I'm now, saying what Cohen is doing is seems to be on some level. I mean, like I say, I think he's a lot more sloppy about it because you don't use your LLC, your consulting firm also to pay <laughs> off uh, hush money to people. Well, that's the other part of this. The, well, the dumbest, we're lucky how dumb and sloppy they are. Let me ask you this. Do you think... Because there's been a lot of speculation and and, you know, uh, that Michael Avanti uh, Avenatti, the the lawyer who came out with this stuff. I don't want to say he was implying this, but um, there was he was getting close to implying (laughs) that um, maybe some of this money flowed out to Trump. And people are curious about the outflows of this money. Um and maybe it goes to the Trump. only way it didn't flow to Trump is if Trump didn't know it existed. Right. And which because I think is we'll also honest, we, we know what kind of character if 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 Cohn did this all as a side gig, which he definitely is capable of doing, then, yeah, then Trump may may not have gotten any. But we all know Trump doesn't doesn't nobody's allowed to do stuff around Trump and use what Trump has accomplished in his mind and get rich off of it. He needs a piece. So there's no way. Yeah, that, maybe. That, I don't know. Do you think Lewandowski him. gave him a piece? Lewandowski did the same thing, didn't he? Was he? Uh, I don't think he was still working with Trump at that time. He had left and was doing the stuff. Uh, yeah, he was just calling him on the phone. But what is what? What was Michael Cohen doing for for Trump at this time, other than just keeping secrets? Which I'm sure Lou and well, still his lawyer, and, and he had a position in his organization. I guess, I but mean, all his job was right? was paying I mean, off. I guess I don't know. I mean, and also deputy finance chair at the at the RNC, which should again that has gotten why we have very little scrutiny. Question. That has gotten a lot less scrutiny and I think deserves a lot more, frankly, because... Oh, my God. I mean, look, is there any doubt at this point that, that this money hasn't flowed? I mean, we know one of these other oligarchs that was on a list to avoid put a couple million dollars into the, the RNC, the, the, uh, the Republican Senatorial Committee Fund, and Mitch McConnell was all too happy to take it. I mean, again, like, I'm not sitting here arguing that Mitch McConnell colluded with Russians or that... But it makes these guys a little less wanting to look into this kind of thing when we know... With Cohn at the at the RNC, with with the, the guys accepting money from some of these Putin connected, you know, uh, oligarchs who came over to the United States or whatever their status is, I mean, there's just no doubt this whole place has been corrupted by this. Yeah. I mean, you know, we had uh, the podcast I do, Unprecedented. We had Asha Rangappa on the other day, who I think is a very interesting person, 
And she was talking all about a lot of these kind, a, a lot of this kind of stuff with, with the various entities. And I can't go through it all because she's smarter than I am. But um, I mean, you know, with Devin Nunez and some of the play, things going on. I mean, it just, I don't know, man. We haven't seen we have we've maybe seen ten or twenty percent of this if we're lucky about what's going on there. Now, I mean, you you learn that when you live in Washington and work there. You turn over a stone, you know, God, you know, God help you when you turn a couple more over. Well, that's I think one of the um, uh, the the better aspects about this is that people are turning over stones. But uh, 